By designating assets as Williams, Lady C hindered Harry's intention to leave Meghan Diana's estate. Prince Harry's public conduct towards the royal family since stepping down from his position as a senior royal in 2020 has drawn harsh criticism from royal insider Lady Colin Campbell in a recent interview. Campbell talks about Princess Diana's passing, her legacy, and how each of her two kids seems to reflect a distinct aspect of her personality. In her opinion, Prince William is the best woman and Prince Harry is the worst of his mother. In an interview with GB News, Colin Campbell, a royal family expert who has written several books, talked about Diana's legacy. She asserts that there is a marked difference between the two sons of the Princess of Wales. But I also believe that her children are the focus of Princess Diana's legacy. Diana, according to Campbell, had a very inconsistent personality. She was also extremely polarizing, says Campbell. The Princess of Wales, according to the Royal Insider, had many good qualities, but after her parents, John Spencer and Francis Shams, separated, Diana suffered severe damage. Diana was exposed to the magnificence of opulence and luxury from a very young age. Harry, I hate to say, is the worst of Diana, while William is the greatest. According to her, she was both of these persons, and she bases this assertion on her interactions with the late Princess of Wales. Following news that William will receive Diana's whole estate, Lady Colin Campbell revealed the facts. On the occasion of his 30th birthday, Prince William received what from Princess Diana? Six display rooms, including exquisite historical artifacts, were in the staple block when it was dedicated to the late Princess Diana. Diana's eldest son William and the Spencer family currently hold Dawn by the Royal Anna's famous dress, which was produced by Emmanuel's and once played a major role in the exhibition. The tiara was another present given to William. Along with belongings, there were numerous more event outfits that the royals have donned over the years. William received half of Diana's estate, and after his marriage to Meghan Markle, Prince Harry received the other half. The estate was returned to the Spencers because Harry no longer had any legal claim to it. Only a few rings were given to his bride, however, William maintained his mother's well-known engagement ring, which is now securely fastened on Princess Kate's finger. According to a royal biographer who spoke to Sky News, Princess Diana intended Prince Harry, her younger son, to be a wingman to Prince William, the future king. Days after Princess Diana's 26th death anniversary, royal biographer Andrew Morton made this assertion. Princess Diana reportedly thought of Harry as William's backup or wingman, but that hasn't actually happened. The royal author also claimed that Harry would have a difficult, isolating role to do. According to Insider, Prince Harry and Prince William do not currently get along. With no plans to get back together, Prince William hasn't spoken to brother Harry in months. Harry returned to the UK a few days prior for the Well Child Awards. The possibility of a reconciliation with Prince William looks possible, even though the Duke of Sus is scheduled to return to Brennan on Thursday.